Okay, in this video, we are going to be looking into distance measurement. And we'll be using this little device here. This is the TOF10120. It's a time of flight ranging sensor. And it's very small, very compact. And they're available online. Now, there are other distance sensors available, like the ultrasonic distance transducer, which uses sound to measure distance. Or there's the infrared distance sensor, which uses infrared LEDs. To measure distance. But this uh, sensor here uses a laser to measure distance. So it has two parts. It has a laser and it has a detector. And the detection beam width is a lot narrower than the ultrasonic or the infrared distance sensor. Okay, I have my range sensor connected up to my Raspberry Pi Pico. I'm running a little program that will detect range and I have four LEDs that will show the distance from an object and a little beeper for alarm when I get too close. So it's a collision warning system. So as I apply an object, I'll bring my hand closer. You can see the first LED comes on, the second, third, fourth, and when you come right up to it, the alarm goes off, indicating collision. And as I bring my hand back, LEDs go out. So there's my little collision detection system using the range sensor. Okay, the sensor has six wires, and we only need four wires to interface it to the Raspberry Pi Pico. And they're labeled one to six, starting on the very right, that's pin one, and then pin six is on the very left. So pin one is ground, pin two is VCC, which could be either 5 volts or 3.3 volts. Then pins five and six is the I squared C bus. So pin five is the data line, and pin six, the one on the very left, is the clock line. So we hook that up to the Raspberry Pi Pico run a little program and we got a little distance measuring system. Okay on the back of the sensor you can see it has an onboard microcontroller which does all the calculations so you don't have to do any calculations in software it actually outputs the distance directly. Now the range of the sensor is 1800 millimeters or 180 centimeters which is 1.8 meters which is around 6 feet so all you have to do is read the serial port which is UART compatible or the I squared C port to get your distance measurement and I'll read it out directly in millimeters. Okay, here's a schematic diagram of the circuit that I built on my breadboard. So you can see the Raspberry Pi Pico which is driving four LEDs on GPIO pins 18, 19, 20, and 21 with 680 ohm current limiting resistors for LEDs 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now GPIO pin 22 is driving this 2N3904 NPN transistor which is driving the beeper and the beeper is getting its supply voltage, it's 5 volts from VBUS which is pin 40. Now on the sensor side we have pin 2 connected up to 3.3 volts, that's a VCC and pins 36 and pin 1 is connected to ground. Pins 5 and 6 is the I squared C bus on GPIO pins 12 and 13 which is connected to STA0 and SCL0. Now all we have to do is write some code in MicroPython to get the system up and running. Okay, here's the code running on the Pico, and it's written in MicroPython, and I'm using Thony as my IDE editor. So if you look at the very top, from machine I'm importing pin and I2C. So pin is for the GPIO pins for the LEDs and the beeper, and I2C is to drive the sensor. Now from time I'm importing sleep for my time delays. So the first thing we do is set up our I2C bus. So I'm using I2C0, and the clock is on pin 13, and the data line is on pin 12, and the speed of the I2C bus is 100 kilohertz. Now I'm setting up my LEDs, LED 1234, on pins 18, 19, 20, and 21, and I'm setting the pins as outputs, and my beeper is on pin 22, and I'm setting the pin as an output. Now the first thing it's going to do is going to scan for an I squared C address on the bus, so address equals I2C scan, and it will scan all the legal 7-bit addresses, and then it will store it in the variable address. Then I set up a byte array with two bytes, because the data coming back from the sensor will be in two bytes. And then we put them together, we join them together for a 16-bit word, and that's going to be our distance data. So we go into the while true loop, and so the first thing we do, we send a null to the sensor at the address, that it has picked out. Now in my case it was address decimal 82. Then, then the sensor will send back two bytes of data. And I'll put it into my byte array with two bytes. 
Then I take the byte array with the two bytes and I make the two bytes into a 16-bit word. And I take the first byte, the high byte, and I shift it 8 bits to the left then or it with the second byte. And that will give me a 16-bit data distance. So we could print the distance right here. So that will give us our distance in millimeters. Now if you're doing a robotic uh, project, you could just stop there. That's all you need. There's your distance. But we're going to continue on for the LED display. So we're going to go further. So here's all the LEDs. So if the distance is greater than 200, it's going to turn off all the LEDs and the beeper. And if the distance is between 180 and 140, get one LED, 139 and 100, you'll get two LEDs and it goes all the way down, two, three, four, until the very end. If we come right up to the sensor, we're going to get all four LEDs on and the beeper is going to sound, that's going to be our alarm. So that's the code there. It's pretty simple. All I have to do is load it up into the Pico and run the code for the distance measurement. Okay, here's my board layout. You can see the Raspberry Pi Pico and the four LEDs that it's driving and the current limiting resistors. And there's my beeper with the transistor that's driving the beeper. I'm getting the 5 volts for the beeper from pin 40 that runs along the top rail, comes down and feeds the beeper. And I have a 3.3 volt rail that comes down and feeds the sensor. Now the sensor has dual pin headers which do not fit into the breadboard. So what I did, I soldered them onto a dip socket and that fits into the breadboard properly so that's kind of handy. So another thing we could use this for, instead of distance measurement, we could use it as a tilt sensor because as you tilt it, we'll get a response from the LEDs and if we tilt it right down, we'll get the alarm. So it's another, another way we could use this sensor. Now I made another video on how you could do this with our Arduino Nano and I'll put a link in the description box. So you could either use the Nano or the Pico for distance measurement.